Hi, I'm John Kennedy from Silicon Republic and today we're going to be looking at the new HTC Sensation. <laughs> Okay, here we have it, uh, the HTC Sensation. They do not call it a smartphone, they call it a super phone. Um, and it is rather super, actually. Uh, it sports a 1.2 gigahertz uh, Snapdragon processor, uh, which is dual core, which means it's uh, among the fastest phones on the market today. Uh, as you can see, nice, nice big screen on it. And I suppose one of the things you could say about this is that it is definitely a cinematic experience in more ways than you can imagine. Um, the device itself has, uh, as you can see, great great design. I mean, I have to say hats off to, um, to HCC again. They really know how to put together a really uh, well-engineered uh, device using the best industrial design you can find. Uh, these speakers, they look small, but they're actually quite powerful. They're actually full stereo speakers. Um, so just moving into the device, um, this is the new uh, locked screen basically that, that basically um, is one of the really clever features you'll, you'll discover on the HTC Sensation. Basically uh, when your phone is off or you're just switching on to see what's going on, you can get to see basically the latest, um, the latest tweets uh, that are coming up uh, and as you can see uh, there's ones moving around in the background there. And if you suddenly do want to see or react to a tweet um, from Twitter on your, on your device, you simply just drag it onto this. Uh, suddenly you have your Twitter stream there and you can respond and, as you like. Full HD screen, um, 4.3 inches in size. Just to give you a kind of a, a comparison, I'll just bring over an iPhone 4, uh, my own iPhone. And uh, so basically, as you can see, the screen for the iPhone is about this much, about 0.6 of an inch, or, around, or just under an inch shorter than this, than the, the HTC Sensation screen. So let's move that away. Um, just going to some, one of the one of the clever things that you will notice about the HTC Sensation is uh, yes, it's faster because of the processor. Uh, is uh, you know it, it, it probably as the phone goes I, on in terms of Android and or gingerbread Android uh, devices it actually does really uh, show off um, sorry Android in its in its uh, full glory. What is interesting about the HTC Sensation is that it's going to be the device that HTC will bring out its. Uh, HTC watch service. Uh, what that is basically is movie rental for your phone. Uh, what's also interesting about that is that they're going to launch it with Vodafone uh, and it's going to be basically you can rent a video and it will basically go, the, the cost will go onto your bills. So you, you can rent a video no longer go to the video store you can simply uh, just turn on and watch uh, you uh, very soon uh, HTC will be bringing out an accessory that will obviously plug into the HDMI, sorry, the, the, the USB port here, and uh, basically then will connect to a HDMI port on the television, and you can watch it either on HD on this little device, or you can watch it on HTC, sorry, HD on on a full blown LCD television. HTC Watch app. Uh, here it is, uh, HC Watch. So as you can see, uh, basically your videos are scrolling like this. So you can see a trailer for, for a video. So let's look at the, this, these are trailers at the moment. From what I understand, uh, the Irish service of HTC Watch is going to go live today. And in the coming month, uh, the ability to buy, basically uh, pay for your movies on, on your Vodafone phone bill will kick in. Uh, but for now, at the moment, all they have there at the moment is trailers. But we'll just pick a trailer just to show you just how effective and cinematic um, the HTC sensation is. One of, the, one of the really nice things about the device, I mean, um, most um, most Android phones 
compared to the iPhone, I didn't think always gave a clear uh, integration with things like Facebook and Twitter. And actually, you know what? With Gingerbread 2.3, that has improved a lot. I'll just give you an example here. Let's pull down the menu of various things that you're completely informed about how you're 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 doing with Facebook and Twitter and um, you know your various uh, Facebooks and you know Gmail and all the all the stuff is basically collected for you and and you know nicely nicely organized. Um, but another great feature um, is the actual eight megapixel camera that's on the device, and not just because it's got eight megapixels, but actually because okay, I'll just take the panoramic panoramic scene of my desk for example. Um, basically what's really really cool and this is something I think the iPhone should really the next version of of Apple's iPhone should really include or think about is is what's really good about is the sharing uh, options so for example on this Android phone you can basically share with a vast number of different apps so instead of having to go into the app and take your picture or share your picture from that you can take your picture once from the camera and pick whatever medium you want to get out there on so I'll just show you there now on the video option. Um, you have, it's more tight, more tailored again for the obvious places like YouTube again. So it's a really, really clever device. Uh, apps are easy to manage. Um, you can manage your contacts quite easily. Um, very, a very well thought out phone. I think HTC really excel at how they integrate. Um, you know. Android or, or whatever operating system to put on whatever device they really the HTC Sense platform really is a mar marvelous thing because some manufacturers just plonk the operating system right onto the phone I think what HTC does is they make it their own you know you think of this as a HTC phone you don't think of it as a a, a phone that has an operating system on it by a certain manufacturer it's an actual phone that you will think of fundamentally as a HTC device and heartily recommend it there you have it, the HTC sensation.